Yo, what's up, everybody? I know I got you guys with a video earlier. Um, this is a little bit different. No, this is not a scam or anything. And no, I'm not affiliated with the company. I just happened to come across this late last night, and I wanted to see how it worked out today. But anybody it's not part of MySlabs.com, uh, you guys need to get on there and get yourself an account. They only deal with slabs. And if you're not part of their Facebook group, you probably need to join it because there's a lot of stuff that... Uh, the owner puts out on there and answers a lot of the questions that are out there. And this here, I'm really, really was curious about it. So today started what he called a fire sales was going to be able to be dropped. It's in a beta version, which means it's tested. There's going to be flaws and bugs. So we got to, you know, deal with it for a while. So I'll put in the description what he wrote, just in case you guys don't have social media and aren't following it. So you guys can see. So basically, fire sales will appear very similar to other listings in the for sale feed. But it's going to be distinguished by the little uh, emoji of fire. So you'll see like the little fire emoji picture thing before the price. And then you're going to see a 15 minute clock running immediately or immediately following. So let me pull this up so you guys can see. This was today. There was only three items up. This starts at noon Eastern every day. Every day is when they're going to come up. So you got to be up, you got to be awake and live with it. So as you guys can see, um, at the bottom here, where the price is to the left, you're going to see the little fire emoji knowing it's on a fire sale. Next, you're going to see the countdown clock, which ain't on there. The only reason I took a quick picture of this was because I knew these would sell today. And I couldn't really do much more on to it, but it counts down. So with it, Every 15 minutes, it drops in value. So this is what is set onto it. Just his verbiage and everything. Fire sales give sellers maximum exposure on my slabs <clears throat> because of their positions atop the feed. It means your stuff is on top of the feed. Everybody's going to see it. Um, in exchange for this uh, for, uh, exposure, sellers will pay a 5% fee instead of a 1%. I like it. Still way cheaper anywhere else out here. It's just to get your stuff on a top feed, you're going to give a little bit more for it. By requesting to run a fire sale, sellers agree to, lo to lower the for sale price of fire sales at a rate of 10% per hour. So basically, every 15 minutes, wherever you're starting it at, it's going to go down 2.5% and continue to go down until somebody uses the buy it now option onto it. Um, he has uh, little things on to here to where, you know, it'll pop up on your phone. And if you guys don't already have on your phone the text messages incorporated to where when you get a get an offer or somebody buys something, I would say go on your profile, make sure your phone number is in there, get that going. Because that way you don't miss something going to your spam box. I really enjoy this site a lot um, just because it's only slab cards on there. And his zero tolerance for, you know, pretty much um, returns and everything else. Uh, there was something else on this. Uh, real quick, I'm trying to find it on here. But it basically decreases it all. So, you know, these probably all sold, I think, within an hour. I could be wrong offhand. But I think it's a good way to get yourself exposure, a good way to get quick sales. He let so many people get into the beta version. I'm sure it's going to come permanent in the weeks to come uh, once they work out any bugs and see how it goes. But take a look at this. I mean, it's really, really good. I, I like the idea. It, it's better than an auction, and it just means you just want to get rid of something. You're going to start off. Somebody's going to want it at a discount, and if you want money, I mean, what's that old uh, commercial with the insurance agency? I want my money, and I want it now. Type deal. Hey, this is probably the best way because returns aren't tolerated onto his site at all. Uh, I'm sure there might be some little little handful of exceptions onto it, which you know might be like it came busted in half or something like that because of mail. But um, I'll post everything he wrote down in the comments section. If you guys seen it today, I want to just see what everybody else thought about it. I, I really liked it. It's a great idea. Uh, to one, it's going to put you on the top of the feed. Uh, I just don't know how many people are going to be doing it to where the top feed might be more like 100 cards at one time frame. That'd be my only uh, concern later on down the road that 
being in a top feed, you might only be in a top 100 or 200, depending on how many people want to start doing this this way. But uh, like I said, take a look at it. I'll put his whole explanation down below onto it. Uh, I think it was a great idea. I really like it. Plus, there's a little, if you, when you click onto it, you can click on the tracking and everything. And you can see how many people are like watching it, like eBay and everything. So it's it's really cool tool that's on there. So check it out. Not a real long video. Just wanted to push it out in case you guys don't have social media and haven't seen this change. It just started today. Other than that, I'll be back throughout the week. Got all kind of videos that we posted up here the next couple weeks. Uh, a lot of you guys like the uh, uh, recent series on old scams and everything. Uh, we might have a couple box breaks coming in that I'll do here either this week or next week. But that's really about it. So I'll continue out there looking at everything. Appreciate everybody's um, support. Uh, everybody that's new came aboard. This uh, Everybody, make sure you always hit that subscribe button. If you want to hit the bell, you can hit the bell. Leave a, a comment. Hit the thumbs up if you want. But I'll continue going with what everybody liked this year so far. And I'll just keep uh, going through stuff. I'm going to have a series on the, random, the fake randomizer that everybody was talking about. I think that comes out tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to do a thing with the eBay hot packs or whatever you want to call it. Then also buying mystery packs. Um, just buying off of social media. And then, you know, people that are worried about doing their group submissions with, you know, basically a base card, how they know they're getting theirs back and stuff. So it's going to be a lot for the newer people on to here as well, too. I just got to figure out where it's going to fit into the actual... Uh, different series is either new to you know new to the card new to the card world i guess or if it's going to be a scam and stuff like that there but a lot of this stuff is just getting my opinion on to it so be ready for it uh, i'm gonna be straightforward with what i think what i think might not be right that's why i always like hearing what everybody has in the comments uh that way maybe i could see something i missed I mean, nobody out there is perfect so again thank you for the support over the past week everything guys appreciate it uh, people push the videos out and everything to everybody. But I will be back. You guys will get the fake randomizer one tomorrow. I believe it's tomorrow. If not, it's Thursday. PSA should be in tomorrow. If not Thursday, I'll come live for that as always. Other than that, have a good week. See you all later.